we're gonna kind of move this and make it sound like look at <laughs> listen to this I'm almost just flowing watch this You all know that I recommend that you play the wrong notes. Why? Because it opens up opportunity. So we have this. Now, what is this chord? And how do we come up with that from playing the wrong note? Well, if you look at this, C7. We are in the key of C. And again, we're gonna go through all 12 keys. So if you notice, if we're on a C chord, to a F major chord, that's common. You hear a lot of people go from the one, don't skip this step, this is important, to the four chord. Now watch this, how can we get there? We can do this, one, seven, six, five, four. Now that sounds super basic, but that's okay. If you're an absolute beginner, I'm here to hold your hand, and ultimately my number one goal is to simplify your musical journey. So. Don't be ashamed if this is all you can do right now, these basic triads. Now, the next level, what we want to do is we want to do our drop to add to chords. I have a whole video. Y'all know I break everything down. Uh, free lesson here on YouTube. So if you have the scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, do it with me. One. We have this chord. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven. And you all know the seven is a G major chord add two, and we're just gonna drop the two. Drop two means drop the second highest note. So that's how you get that B, and that's really like a G add two over B, and then to our one. So one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, those of you who feel like I'm moving too fast, don't worry. I cover all 12 keys and I'm going to include a PDF right here. We're gonna go through all 12 keys of these chords in the free download section of our website. And you all know it's donation only and it's a one-time donation. You get access to the PDF, the MIDI files. Sometimes some of these videos have play along tracks. So um, anyway, so let's cover this. We're going from here. So I just went backwards. Remember, we're trying to go from the one to the four. Now, what can we do? We're gonna pick and play the wrong note. So watch this. In this next step, when we go down, what's the wrong note? This feels great, but go in between these two notes. Ooh, opens up a whole different sound, so. And I can glide right into that. And then we have our six, which is our F major, add two, drop the two. Go in between, play the wrong note. Ooh. And then we're gonna go here. That's our five. Where is the wrong note? This is how professionals create amazing chords. I'm telling you guys, I'm letting you in on a secret. A lot of times, professionals come up with these chords by accident. So you want to play the wrong note. Here are the two notes. What's in between? Sounds nasty, but watch this. Watch this. Because it doesn't fit. And then, now how can we make this work? If you listen to this, this is in the C major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a flat seven. So if you were to play a C major chord and add that flat seven, you get what they call a C seven. So you can see that C seven is right there. Now, that sounds super corny. If we play this, That sounds corny, bro. This is 2023. So I'm gonna show you how to turn this wrong note into something amazing. Here we go. Watch this. Woo-hoo! <laughs> 
Man, I'm telling y'all, man, it's the one little wrong note that can open up so many possibilities. Now, I'm telling you guys, some of you guys have made wrong decisions in life, and I'm telling you right now, some of those wrong decisions and some of the bad decisions that you've made will ultimately lead to something much better than you could ever imagine or think. So man, don't ever get so low and so down when you make a bad decision or a bad choice. Don't make it a habit. But when you make a wrong turn, man, keep your eyes focused on the end goal and I promise you, you'll be able to turn some of these wrong notes or wrong decisions or wrong mistakes into something absolutely beautiful. So, just like this. Now, what is this chord? And how do we come up with that from playing the wrong note? Well, if you look at this C7 over the G. Now, if we look at this C7 chord, all we have to do is do what? Drop the two. So the two is the second highest note from the top. We're gonna drop this down here. And we ain't even gotta play that C. We can move the C to the top if we want. So we have this, and that's how simple this is. <laughs> so, here we go. And that's a little bit of a stretch, all right? But that's like a little, a little E diminished chord, and we drop that down. And I like to, just me, personally, I like to, I like to do this chord right here. It just feels so good. This is an A minor chord, or you can do a, C major chord if you want. So let's do this in real time. All right, that's simple. Now real quick, before we go to the bonus stage of playing these type of chords, I'm gonna show you this in all 12 keys, okay? I would love for you guys to give this video a thumbs up. That keeps me motivated to create more videos like this. These videos cost hundreds of dollars and I'm able to put this out here for you guys absolutely free. Also, feel free to comment below. What are your thoughts on playing the wrong notes? And have you guys ever experienced playing wrong notes and turning them into something absolutely beautiful? Comment below. So let's get to this bonus stage. Now, the cool thing about this is we're gonna kind of move this and make it sound like Look at <laughs> listen to this. I'm almost just flowing. Watch this. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, we're gonna have so much fun moving these into all 12 keys because there's a simple concept that I'm using. If you notice, we started out in the key of C. This is the basic drop two chords. Basic. And then we landed on that four chord, which is an F major. But watch this, since we're in F, let's keep it going. One, seven, six, five, four. I just switched keys and you didn't notice it and no one else in the audience will notice. So you can use this for talk music as well. So here we go. I'm gonna open this up just in case you're in advance, but you guys get the concept. I'm gonna open these chords up so you can have all the juiciness. All right, so here we go, first chord. You know, you can do these little nuances that we I taught in the expand series. All right. And then we can go to this chord. Woo! And now this is like our pivot to get to the F chord. There we go. We're there now. Watch this. Ooh. To the B flat. Now we're in the key of B flat. Here's one, seven, six, five. I was about to play the regular five. I forgot we put that juice on it, all right? And now we're in the key of E flat. at the five now. A 
flat. Now I know this is still showing C, but y'all get the gist here. I mean, we're just changing keys. We're in, in a flow. Now, for those of you who are wondering where I am, uh, I'm in the key of A flat. So you can do that. That's a nice one chord. Seven. Six. Again, I teach these nice, nice little nuances in the Expand series. Watch this. Ooh, now we're going to D flat or C sharp. Nice little clean open voicing. Again, you have the PDF to follow along with. F sharp. Nice little stretch. I'm just giving you guys all the juice, okay? Six. Big stretch. Mm, 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 mm. That chord is. Mm. If you see here, it's just a. It's like a. Like a D flat. It's in minor six, nine, eleven. It's just a beautiful chord, man. I love using this chord. Now we're going to which key? Boom, 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 B. Now, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. Now, if you look at this chord, I know I have this, you could do a basic B. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret how I'm able to get to it quickly. So, I need a three and a flat seven. So, whatever key you're in, one, two, you need to hit the three and then a flat seven. This is called a tritone. All right? So, that's a little secret of how I'm able to play this quickly. I got my five to the one, but I'm gonna do a three and a flat seven, which is my tritone. And then we'll go to uh, E. I'm playing this slow enough for you guys to get this in all 12 keys. Ooh, because there's my three and a flat seven. Now, from A to the key of D, to the seven, or. to the key of G, seven, six, now where am I? Back to the key of C, <laughs> and again, y'all know we can do those. You can do that same method. <laughs> Tiddo. And then keep the C at the top. I mean the F at the top, sorry. To the B flat. And we normally would do this. And then we can come in here, but we go in between the two notes that we're not supposed to play, play the wrong note. <laughs> And then we can go to F5. Again, ultimately my goal is to simplify your musical journey. I love you guys so much. I don't want to delay this video because you can download the PDF and be able to grab all of these chords. Take your time, learn one key a day, and in 12 days, you'll be able to play this in all 12 keys. So with that being said and done, I love you so much. And you know I never like to close any video without letting you know that today is a new day, a new life, and a new opportunity for you to become a better you. Click this below. This video, I'm telling you guys, I'll have some more tools that you'll be able to use to quickly up your game in your musical journey. Love you guys.